Hi friends, I'm Becca Werwell, author of the Road Trip Rescue series of faith-filled contemporary adventures for kids ages 8 to 12. And today we are talking all about book reviews, why they matter, why writing them is one of the best gifts you can give an author, and how you can leave a review on some of the most popular reviewing platforms. So if you want to know how to better support the authors you love, this is a great video for you to listen in on. So to get started, why do reviews matter? We'll get right to the point here. Well, first of all, reviews help you build credibility. So I want you to imagine for a moment, you go online, maybe go to Amazon and you're looking for a new toaster. Okay, we're just gonna use that as the random example. You're looking through the toasters, you find one and at first you think, hey, that looks good. But then you realize it only has a few reviews, maybe even worse, no reviews. And the other toaster you're looking at has a thousand reviews. Which toaster are you going to get? Even if the toaster with a lot of reviews has some bad ones, you're probably going to go with that one because the fact that a lot of people have bought it builds credibility. It makes that product seem trustworthy and it makes you more likely to go in on that purchase. And it works the same way with books. If a parent is searching for middle grade adventures about road trips, which would fit my category for the Road Trip Rescue series, right? If my book comes up and another book comes up and one book has way more reviews, that book might be the more likely purchase because that makes it feel more credible. Positive reviews really help enhance an author's reputation and it makes potential readers more likely to take a chance on that book. So if you read a book and you really loved it and you want other people to find that book too, writing a review is really a great way to help out that author. It also helps to increase visibility. So that's another way new readers can find the book. Reviews often can influence algorithms on platforms like Amazon and Goodreads. And that means the book is more likely to come up in search results and recommendations. So when a book has more reviews, it's more likely to actually be seen by others. So it puts the book in front of people that might not have even seen it otherwise. Reviews also can provide social proof. They act like testimonials. So imagine you are going to get a haircut and you want to see if other people had good experiences there. And you look on Google and you see the testimonials and you say, okay, other people really enjoyed going here. They had great haircuts, great experiences. I'm going to give it a chance. So again, it encourages people to know that, okay, other people like this book or their kids like this book, mine might too. And it helps encourage sales. These reviews can also even add to an author's marketing efforts because, for example, if I get a really positive review, I could put that in my newsletter, I could put an excerpt on social media, I could use it in a graphic for my marketing, so that can really help me as I continue to spread the word about my books. It also is feedback for the author. Some authors may choose to read and learn from their reviews to see what readers liked and what they didn't like, and that can play into their future books as they consider their reader. So it helps to show the author who they're writing to, to put their actual reader's feedback right in front of them if the author chooses to read those reviews. Positive reviews and a large number of reviews can also help lead to more opportunities for the author. For example, more book reviews can lead to more interest from bookstores, book clubs, librarians, potentially more speaking engagements, maybe possible collaborations that wouldn't be possible otherwise, things like that. And as a children's book author, since I write for a middle grade audience, kids ages eight to 12, I just wanna give a shout out for those kids' books. If your child, whether it's a picture book, middle grade, read a book and enjoyed it, leave a review on their behalf, ask them what they liked about it, write the review. This can be a fun learning experience for your child as they sort through what did I like about that book. And then it's also a great way to support the authors that are creating stories that your kids love because sometimes those children's books don't get quite the amount of attention as the adult fiction or adult nonfiction because the purchaser isn't the one actually reading the book, which is something that can be a marketing challenge for middle grade authors. So definitely if you have kids that are reading and loving books, consider leaving those reviews on Amazon or other places online for the books. Now here's a question. What if you didn't enjoy the book? Should you still leave a review? Now, this might be a controversial opinion. I think different people would say different things, but as an author, I would say, if you didn't like the book, just don't review it. 
especially if you are an aspiring author. Now you might get different advice from someone else you ask. And as a reader, I see the value of writing out the review as you see it, because that does help other readers see what they might like or what they might not like. But as an author or an aspiring author, your goal should be to connect with writers in your genre, to support each other, to build each other up. You want to strengthen those connections so that if you're an aspiring author, once you have your book out, you can look to other authors for support. So if you didn't enjoy it, I'm not saying to make it up. Like if you didn't like the book, don't go give it five stars and write this thing about how much you loved it. Don't do that. But if you didn't enjoy it, it is okay to skip the review and just move on. I'm giving you permission. If you really like to, if you use Goodreads, for example, to mark the books you read and you like to keep track of it, you can mark a book as read without leaving a rating and review. So that is a possibility and I'm giving you permission to do so. So as an author, my personal inclination would be if I don't like the book, I just let it go. I do book reviews for books that I enjoy and books that I recommend to others. Now, how to leave reviews. We're not going to go through all of the different platforms because there are a lot of places you can leave reviews. All those online retailers, you can leave reviews. There's platforms like BookBub that run a lot of ads for different books and sales and promotions. You can leave reviews there. But I'm going to highlight just two places. We're going to focus on Amazon and Goodreads, and I will walk you through how to leave a review on those places. So first, how to review a book on Amazon. First of all, you need an Amazon account. So you'll log into your account on Amazon, go to the Amazon product page. So search for the book in the search bar, pull up the page, and then you'll scroll down on the page all the way to the customer review section, which is near the bottom of the page. And there's a button that says, write a customer review. So you'll click that button. You can fill in your rating. You can write a headline, which is basically just like your biggest takeaway from your review. Add a photo or a video if you want. This isn't necessary, but it can help people to see like, oh, look, this is a high quality product. And then write out your review. And that can seem intimidating, but you really don't have to write a whole book long review here. Even one or two sentences, just I really like this book or my kid read this book and couldn't put it down. Even something short helps so much. It's often about the number and the positivity of the reviews that makes the big difference, not as much the like in-depth review, though if that's more your thing, that's awesome too. Adding in the age of the person you got the book for can also be helpful, especially for children's books. And then you just click the button to submit your review and Amazon will let you know if your review is posted. I will say with Amazon, it helps if you bought the book on Amazon because then your review is a verified purchase and those do stick around more on Amazon. However, there are lots of really great places to buy books. So I'm not saying you should buy your book on Amazon, right? Independent booksellers are amazing. You can buy books directly from authors, which if I had my preference, I love that too, because I get to sign the book and personalize it and send it right to you. So there are lots of great ways to buy a book and you can still leave a review on Amazon regardless of where you got that book. That is just something to be aware of, that if you don't see your review go up or if your review goes up and then it's gone later, there is the fact that the verified purchase reviews, if Amazon knows you bought the book on Amazon, it has a better chance of sticking. How to review a book on Goodreads. That's our next platform we'll talk about. So first, log into your account. Goodreads is basically like a social media for people who love books. So it's sharing what books you read, sharing your reviews. You have that all go into your feed. So it's like book social media. And if you don't have an account, it's pretty easy to set one up if you think that's something you'd love to do is review more books. And you can even just copy and paste your review from Amazon right onto Goodreads. So it makes it nice and simple to put the same review in both places. Anyway, you log into your account on Goodreads and then you go to the book page for the book you want to review. Select the number of stars you want to give the book and then click write a review. And then you write your review and you post it. And so that's available to see from your friends who are also on Goodreads. Something else fun is that Goodreads is actually connected with Amazon. So the number of Goodreads ratings and the amount of stars that a book has on Goodreads will also show up on an Amazon page. So that helps add the credibility two different ways if you review a book on Amazon and on Goodreads. From me and from other authors who you're writing positive book reviews for, I just want to say thank you. It, positive book reviews really are one of the best gifts you can give an author. They're encouraging if we read them, but more than that, they do give a book 
credibility. They help add to our marketing efforts. They help put the book in front of more people's eyes. And so we are very, very grateful for that. And whatever book you're reading right now, happy reading and hopefully happy reviewing.